everyone. Today in Integrated Math 1, we're going to be going over Chapter 1, Lesson 6. So here are the objectives. Make sure you write them down in your notebook. All right. So is anything we have to remember our vocabulary and know exactly what it looks like? As you can see here, we have two x-intercepts. This is where it crosses on the x-axis. If you know your x and y axis, so I'm labeling them here, you'll know where they need to cross. So in this case, the x-intercept crosses here. It has to be on this line and here. And the y-intercept has to cross the y-axis, which in this case is where this purple dot is. All right. So there's a couple different things of just how we say things. So we can map a diagram. What it means by mapping a diagram is when we have a domain and we have a range. Notice how this 2 connects with A, the 2 also connects with B, and the 2 also connects with C. It is written as 2 comma A, 2 comma B, 2 comma C. The domain is always going to be your X, and the range is always going to be your Y. Just like everything else, our ordered pairs, we have to write it in alphabetical order. X and then Y. And just like we said here, X then Y, domain, range. And this also is alphabetical, so that I can help you remember it as well. Alright, so there are many ways to represent the same relation. As you can see here, we have the ordered pairs. 1, 2, negative 2, 4, 0, negative 3. We can write that as a table. And we can also graph that. As you can see, it's negative 2, 4, and 1, 2, 0, negative 3. And that's it being shown as a graph. We can also show it by mapping, which is the first one that we looked at before. 1 to 2, negative 2 to 4, 0 to negative 3. So these are the three different, four different representations of the same relation. So we also have independent variables which influences the change of the dependent variable. The dependent variables are dependent on the independent variable. Let's go over example 11. Express the relation negative 3, 4, 1, negative 2, 0, 1, 3, negative 1, as a table, a graph, and a mapping. So first of all, let's go over the table. Remember each of these can be put as x, y. So x, y, I'm putting it right above. And then I'm going to put this one below. And for each one, they go together. So I'm going to put this on the side just so you can see how it is exact same thing. X is negative 3. Y is 4. This is just shown as a table. 1, negative 2. 0, 1. And 3, negative 1. Alright, so we've shown it as a table. Now let's show it as a graph. And these are just plotted points. So right, so let's see this one. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and it's up 4. So this one's negative 3, 4. And this one would be 0, 1. And now I have 1, negative 2. I have one left, so I should have 3, negative 1, which is what I have here. And there we go. And the last thing I need to show is a mapping of it. 3 goes with 4, 1 goes with negative 2, 0 with 1, 3 with negative 1. However, if I had another one, let's say, with... If I had 3 and 1, 
then it would also connect there. But in this case, I don't. And that's it.